Focus forward. Focus forward, cross bow now. You are extraordinary. In our lives, we all have boxes. Boxes define who we are. Madam Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, today I will share with you how to move your box. Thinking about boxes, we go to work. We take our box, albeit a shiny, pretty, or rather beat up and kind of grungy box, like I was driving. As I was driving to my place of employment, which is also in a box, or a cubicle, which is also a box, I noticed the front of my car has a windshield. Who in here has ridden in a car? Drove a car? Everybody, I, I assume, has been in a car, driven a car. Have you know, ever noticed the car, the front windshield, is fairly large? In my pretty box that I was driving to work, it happens to be 60 inches by 30 inches. And I got to thinking, what are we focused on? Well, there happens to be one small piece that prohibits our vision that's actually about 10 inches by two inches. It's a rear view mirror. Have you ever tried to drive a car solely by looking in the rear view mirror? That is one feat that I have not yet been able to accomplish. Even, even when I'm backing up this beautiful box, I have to check over my shoulder to confirm where I'm going. As I'm driving this box, I notice that I rarely look at the rear view mirror now that I don't have to worry about my hair. <laughs> <laughs> or the only time I really check is maybe if there's something in my teeth. Or if the men in blue happen to be following me with those pretty blue and red lights. <clears throat> because I'm focused on where I want to go. I am focused forward. A couple years back, 18 months, give or take a week, I just had some dental work done. And during this dental work, a lot of pain ensued, and I realized I needed to take better care of my teeth. So I realized in this box that we'll call dental care, I was ordinary. But I wanted to become extraordinary and step out of my box. How do I become extraordinary? I floss daily. No applause needed. <laughs> I got my applause from the dentist this last time when I walked in there and the dental hygienist looked and said, great job on your teeth. At a 42 years old, that's the first time I've ever been complimented on taking care of my teeth. I chose to get out of my box and become extraordinary. Like I said, you're all extraordinary in something. The hard part is you can't be extraordinary in everything. And so we catch ourselves in our shiny box, looking at our rear view mirror, going, oh, I didn't win that speech contest. <laughs> oh, I hit that pothole. Oh, I was too dumb for, we forgot to focus forward. We have to focus where we want to go. And I promise when you focus forward, you can accomplish your big dreams. I had the opportunity to visit with Bob. Bob told me, Roscoe, I was an 18 wheel driver and I just recently retired. He was very excited about this. Has anybody been inside an 18-wheeler? 
They're kind of fun. They're big. They have a huge windshield. They have a lot of place to focus. But then he threw me the curve. He showed me his business card. He actually was an airline pilot. Airlines, the 747 actually has 18 wheels. He mentioned when he was a youth living in South Dakota, he went to a one-room school with 18 other students. And that covered grades 1 through 12. And one day he was outside at recess and looked up and said, I want to be an airline pilot. He got clear on what he wanted. First day of college, he set his goals on to get there. He made it until in the ROTC training, they said, everybody on the left is in the Army. Bob made one mistake. He said, on the left. Everybody on the right, you're in, you're in the Air Force. Bob felt like you guys did just barely, a little dejected, a little frustrated. Then he shared with me how he focused forward. He knew he wanted to be an airline pilot. So for three days, he sat in front of the, the colonel's office in a chair. Every time what was requested, I want to be in the Air Force. They would send him home at the end of the shift. He'd come back in the next morning, bright and early. I want to be in the Air Force. After three days, they relented. He got to follow his dream. He was extraordinary because he did not relent. He focused forward and got out of his box that he was put in. You, as a challenge to you, please choose your destination and focus through that big windshield of life and realize rear view mirror is small for a reason. It's only to glance at and yes, to check our hair. <laughs> Madam Tony.